Estonia plans 600 bunkers to stop Russian invasion in the first hour. On NATO's borders with Russia, frontline states are already preparing for the next war with Moscow. In January, the defense ministers of Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia agreed to a new plan to build an extensive network of fortifications intended to deter and defeat the kind of Russian incursion long feared in northeastern Europe. Given their country's 210 miles of border with Russia, much of it considered near impassable thanks to extensive forests and wetlands, Estonian officials said the government is planning some 600 bunkers they hope will prevent a hypothetical invasion and occupation by Moscow. The war in Ukraine has shown that taking back already conquered territories is extremely difficult and comes at great cost of human lives, time and material resources. Susan Lilevali, the Under Secretary for Defence Readiness at the Estonian Defence Ministry said she spoke about the $64.7 million project during a Thursday briefing with journalists. In addition to equipment, ammunition and manpower, we need physical installations to defend our countries efficiently, Lilevali said. The small Baltic states have long been considered the most likely Russian targets should President Vladimir Putin be bold enough to launch an attack on NATO. If successful, Russian units might be expected to overrun the three small nations within days. These installations serve, first, the purpose of avoiding military conflict in our region as they could potentially change the enemy's calculus, Lilevali said. Counter-mobility and fortification measures have played a significant role in wars in our region in history, for example in Finland, and as the war in Ukraine has demonstrated, they are perfectly valid also in this century. She continued, the installations should deny the enemy the possibility to advance rapidly in the territory of Baltic countries and in case of military incursions, stop the enemy's advance already at our borders.